At first at 4.30, the embattled chairman of the Hawaiian Homes Commission, Ikaika Anderson, will get a surprisingly early answer about whether he'll keep his job. He will be the first Governor Green appointee to face a confirmation hearing next week. Daryl Hoff reports on the high-stakes appointment. As chairman of the Department of Hawaiian Homelands, there's a lot of pressure on Ikaika Anderson to spend $600 million quickly on new housing. But here in the state Senate, there's doubts about whether he can do that. The doubts were raised as Anderson faced tough questions from the Senate Money Committee about the spending plan. Anderson's performance was criticized to his face by his own Hawaiian Homes Commission. It was um, laced with confusion. And in this historical moment of financial opportunity, we cannot act with confusion. With so much on the line and so much at stake, we want to make a fast decision. Uh, about who's going to head DHHL so that we can get working uh, on the plan and get it implemented. Senator Miley Shimabukuro chairs the Hawaiian Affairs Committee. She called for the early confirmation hearing but won't say if she supports Anderson. She does point out that he is trying to please the governor, the Homelands Commission, and beneficiaries, some of whom are campaigning against him. It is tricky because at, at the chair of DHHL has to balance themselves between yeah what the fifth floor might want and what the commission might want. Anderson said he wasn't available today, but the governor stands behind him as he has for weeks. He's a good choice because he's been around the issue so much and we needed some fresh blood. We need to jumpstart things a little bit and having some new blood there is good. Analysts say the early hearing may not necessarily be a bad sign for Anderson, coming before strong opposition has a chance to organize. It's whether uh, you know this is a going to help Ikaika Anderson get confirmed because they need someone in the job, even if there is opposition or they've decided they're not going to confirm him and they want to give the governor enough time to select someone else. It, that's unclear to me. The hearing is scheduled for 1 to 5 p.m. Tuesday the 14th. Chair Shimabukuro urges both sides to get in their testimony early. A decision about Anderson could come pretty quickly. Lawmakers say they'd like to have a decision made before a legislative recess in two weeks. Reporting from the state capitol, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.